guys, what is up? It's Bloodzeals. Welcome back to another house tutorial. I am back into recording. I know it's been a couple days without a video. I had soccer tournaments going on. Got first place though, so that was cool. But anyways, we are here. <clears throat> Jasper's here. And we're all ready to do another house tutorial. Today we're going to do a modern house. It's been a long time since I did a modern house. So I finally thought it would be okay if I did another one. Because I, uh, I used to do them all the time and I think people got sick of them. But um, it's been quite a while now. We've done a lot of tutorials since a modern house. So... Uh, Jasper, would you like to take it away? All right, so this house is actually one I built in a live stream recently. Um, and I did it in 15 minutes. It was a building challenge and I liked it enough that I thought it was worth a tutorial. So that's what we're gonna do. If you enjoy, do make sure to leave a like. I love all the support I get on this series and uh, it's quite dandy. So it's kind of a complex house in some ways. And so there is definitely the chance I'm going to make mistakes. I'm definitely gonna have to do some cutting. So bear with me. What we have here is black stained clay, which is obviously not black, but brown. Even when I turn off my shaders, it's still brown. So I don't know what the deal with that is but it is brown stained clay um and then we have the actual brown stained clay and we'll be using marble as well so that's kind of our our plan for today now i do not know um a lot about this house because again i built it in a challenge i've only built it once and um there's definitely definitely going to make mistakes at some point in time but uh, i will try not to cut too much but i'm going to cut a lot so let's start with this we have this going on here and um, what I, I'm just going to do what I can see. I take screenshots of all my builds when I do these tutorials. So I'm just going to do what I can see in the screenshots um, that I know for sure is correct. And then I will uh, I will basically cut, figure out what, what happens next. And um, we will go from there. So let's go ahead and uh, I can tell you right now that we're going to have a shape going on like this. And it's going to come across like that. And um, we have that. So this is our entryway, right? And that's going to kind of work out like that. We also are going to break these out. We're going to have water here eventually, so that's kind of cool. Um, so we'll break those out, and this is your entryway, and from there we can uh, build the rest of the house. Alrighty, so moving on over to this side, we're going to bring this out one more. Uh, I tried to do a lot of experimenting with uh, shapes when I built this house. Again, this was in a live stream during a, it was kind of a building challenge, so it was kind of, it was an interesting build, but it actually turned out okay. We're going to count out three blocks here, and uh, we're going to basically create this little loop like that. This is going to come out again. It's going to come out one more, and then we're going to have a, uh, a upside down stair and a block right here. So that is kind of the end of our house on that side. All right, so that's pretty cool. And then I believe we can uh, go ahead and also bring a block up here. And this is going to come out, and I'm not quite sure how far, so we'll get to that, but it's going to come out like that and go that way a little bit. All righty, so this right here is going to be seven blocks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to bring it down, so you should have seven blocks in between your space like that. Once we uh, have gotten that done, we can go ahead and move over to this side of the build and we can start here and get this side while going. So we're going to bring these up to about there and uh, they're going to remain at a height of three and then we're going to skip space for a window. We'll have three more, skip space for a window, three more and we'll do that once more here. So we got that going on. Uh, I used the light brown clay as my window base. That's really the only place I used it in this case, but um, that's what I did. And we're going to take our half slabs here, bring those across. This will eventually, of course, be our uh, our roof as well. Then we have black stained clay, just to get a little bit of differentiation in the windows. Got something like that going on. So now you have that side wall looking good. Uh, if we move on over to the front here, we can kind of just come up with our own design for the front um, because I do not have a screenshot of the original. So let's go ahead and break these out. And um, I think by now, if you watch my videos, you probably have a pretty good idea of how I like to do my front. So we're actually gonna do, now that I look at it, we'll do one giant window. I think that will look best. Um, a lot of times, front of houses, you have your giant bay window. It's kind of a show off showy thing you want to show to your neighbors your superior have a giant penis or something um because that's that's why people have nice houses and um, i'm gonna stop now that was weird that was kind of weird <laughs> okay so we have this going on this is kind of the front of our house so far now what we can go ahead and do is we're going to take a pillar and we're actually going to bring it up right here so in front of that window now that's going to cut off the symmetry of our window which is not um as big of an issue as it might seem we're going to bring that over and then we're going to have these half slabs come across like that and they're just going to stop right there. And this is just uh, messing around with shapes again. It's something I like to do, obviously. Now, your choice is, do you want this to be symmetrical from the outside or from the inside? All right. So if you choose the outside, you're going to break this out, this row of windows and put in pillars. If you choose the inside, you're going to leave it how it is. I want it to be symmetrical from the inside, so we're going to leave it how it is and uh, just have this shape going on. So let us move on now, uh, see what we can do on this side of the build. Okay, on this side of the house, we're going to do a nice little window scheme as well. Uh, one of the themes I followed with this build was generally keeping uh, my my windows one wide, at least on the sides here. So we're going to kind of imitate what we did on that side. We're going to go ahead and have uh, two windows on this side. So we'll have three white pillars going on like that. Bring your marble 
or whatever you want to call it, quartz. It's called quartz. I call it marble every time. Across the top, we're going to leave it like that. And then we'll have our windows here and here. And um, I don't know, I was really proud of this house because I built it in 15 minutes. I had about 100 people watching me build it and they were all judging me and, um, you know, trying to make sure I didn't look like an idiot. Let's bring out one more pillar here. What we're going to do now is get a little bit of sh My God. Did you just have a stroke? Because that's what it sounded like. Okay, one, two, three, and four. And then this is gonna come up one, two, three, and four. And uh, we're gonna pull one of those shapes that I like to do sometimes, and they're kind of confusing. Um, but it's going to come out like that. And uh, I'll get the backside here in a second, so I don't mess anything up. I'm always afraid of messing things up in these builds. But we're gonna have a shape going like that. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Let's just bring it across now. We have, uh, we have this kind of shape going on, all right? And it's gonna come back out like that. And um, what you can actually do here is we're going to fill it in first. Now, I broke it out and I did have a little bit of shape going on in it because uh, you don't want a giant square like this in your build. But uh, let's go ahead and fill this giant thing in first um, so that we have some a little bit of shape going on. Whoa, I am I'm not good at this. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Okay, we now have a giant square and it's really ugly sitting at the back of our house. We're going to go ahead and break out all of these and we're going to break out all of these. Now, this is strange. I haven't done this before, but um, and I... When I first did it, I kind of was like, well, that looks a little weird. And then I realized modern builds, you kind of got to go against what looks right sometimes, and um, you just build. So that's why uh, we now have this going on. We'll go ahead and break it out like that. And we have this shape in the back. Strange, but uh, I like it because it's different, and different is usually what you want when you're building modern. Okay, so let's get the last corner of the house done. All right, we're going to do some more strange shaping in this corner, just because I wanted to make sure I had brown in every corner of the house so that we kind of kept it even. Um, and what we're going to do is just kind of... We're going to shape this out first. So let's go to this block right here. And I know it's a little bit dark, but we're basically on the second block back. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, and then let's just stop it right there. So we have this. This is going to be a wall. You can go ahead and fill it in, but I will break out some windows here in a second. We have that wall. Then we're going to bring this up. And this is going to be another shape. It's going to be kind of like the inverse of that. And we're going to bring that back. So we got one, and then two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, like that. And it's going to come down on the front like that. All right, that's kind of a cool shape. And then what we can do is bring in a wall like this and uh, bring in this wall here. And uh, I, I will be honest with you, this is not at all what my screenshot says to do. I just did this and I looked at the shape and I thought, whoa, that's kind of cool. And um, so I'm changing up the style of the house entirely. Originally, there would have been a flat wall across um, this corner and that would have just been a shape. And now I've decided I don't want to do that because I really like how this looks. So what we're going to do is have a window here, and we're going to have a window here. So yes, I just changed the tutorial while I was recording the tutorial, but I thought it looks, I think it looks a little bit better than the original. Um, so we have that going on right there, and I definitely, I definitely like that better. And then this is our back wall right here, and what we will do here is just have one solid window in the middle, just to keep the patterns different. I don't know why Jasper's being so loud today. Um, birds are louder when it's lighter out, and because uh, summer has hit, they're louder later into the night because it's later, later into the night. And so I apologize for that, but honestly, I can't do anything about it. So that's cool. And then you're just gonna do a half slab roof all the way across the top. Make sure you leave this uh, brown exposed. You want that to show, um, but otherwise it's just a half slab roof all the way across the top. So let me finish that off camera. All right, so now it's time for a little bit of exterior decoration. Uh, first, what I wanna do here is fill this with water. Now you can either leave it like that, or um, if you wanna be creative, you can actually drop these in here and we'll put a rose bush there and maybe a flower pot like that with a flower. That's up to you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a pathway. So the easiest way to do these kind of pathways is to first uh, make them a generic one one block. So I got to get rid of the water there. So make them a generic one block. And of course, we want to add a little bit more to our pathway. One of the things that um, makes a good builder a great builder is detail. Obviously, the small details, you know, you can be really great at building cool shapes. But if you ignore the small details, you can only be so good. So what we're going to do then is a little bit of small detailing. And we're just going to have our stone in here. Now we can we can vary the stone, but we can also throw in some shape, vary the shape of the pathway a little bit. Got something like that going on, and uh, that all just helps to add a little bit to the to the pathway. So now we have something like that going. Let's go ahead and drop in another flower pot here. Maybe some double tall grass on that side. We'll put a flower pot and uh, just grab a pretty flower. This ali allium allium. You're very pretty. We'll put you right there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and just do a little bit more uh, decoration and all that. Alrighty, so I went ahead and just did a little bit more decoration. We have our path here, a little bit of a gravel path out to a nice little pond we got going on here. Uh, bone mealed over here, looks like I missed a spot. 
But bone meal over here, again, you'll probably never catch me making a building video without just throwing down some bone meal, some of the good old bone meal. And uh, obviously you can put it wherever you want. I don't know, you, you'll be building your house in a different space than I. I uh, got a tree in there. It's always good to have a tree. And then uh, just a little glowstone on a pillar. And glowstone looks a lot better with shaders and in texture packs than it does in default Minecraft. So I wouldn't necessarily suggest doing that. Um, but there you go. You got yourself a nice modern house. It's very simple, not resource intensive. I mean, I guess quartz can be hard to get, but it's not really. It doesn't use that much because um, it's not that big of a house. And then, uh, yeah, it's not a it's not a terrible house to make, and uh, it looks pretty nice. Actually, one last thing here I did not do. I think I had something coming around like that. Uh, you can go ahead and do that as well. So you got a shape over there, just to make sure we got that looking nice. Okay, so there you go. Modern house, very easy to do, and this is a very typical stylistic house as well. If you can learn how to build something like this, you can change up the colors and shapes and build one of these anytime. I mean, I literally built this in 15 minutes, uh, never, you know, off the top of my head, and uh, it came out pretty nicely. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Hope you learned a little bit about building, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, because it really does help me out um, as well as uh, makes me happy. So thank you so much, guys. I'm back to hopefully mostly basically daily uploads, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.